Hello everybody, I'm a PhD student in computer science at the University of New South Wales and today I'm going to briefly talk about my research that is about solving an optimization problem that plays an important role in the mining industry. In general, surface, surface mining is the process of extracting valuable material from the earth by making a hole into the ground and then selling it to the market. The area of the earth that contains valuable material is typically called a deposit. The photo in the corner shows a deposit in California. Basically, a deposit consists of several blocks of rock. As you can see in the photo, um, if we could take the entire deposit out of the ground, it would look like an upside down cone and the cone contains millions of blocks of rock. Finding a good sequence of extraction of these blocks is very important. But there are a variety of operational limitations in the process of extraction that must be considered when finding this sequence. All of these limitations restrict the way we extract these blocks of rock. For example, shovels are not flexible to move around and this affects the sequence of extraction. Class hazard must also be considered, uh, which have an impact on this sequence as, as well. So finding the best sequence to extract these cubic blocks of rock is extremely important in the mining industry. And a more efficient extraction sequence can lead to a several million dollar increase in the company's profit. Finding this sequence is what mining engineers are expecting operations research researchers like us. Basically, researchers have considered this problem as a discrete scheduling problem and developed an integer linear programming for it. But the main issue is the size of the problem. In fact, high number of rock blocks inside the deposit um, and a variety of operational limitations lead to a huge number of integer decision variables and constraints in the mathematical model. So, um, even though several approaches have been taken to solve this model, none of them are efficient enough for large size examples of this problem. But what is our research? Well, initially, we realized that the current algorithms cannot solve the problem because they cannot converge in an integer domain where there is a lot of constraints. Then our idea uh, was that they could converge in a continuous domain when there is no constraint and no integer variables. So we convert the problem from a discrete combina combinatorial problem to an unconstrained continuous function by a novel heuristic. This means by using our heuristic instead of trying to converge in a complex integer space like the photo at the top, we can now converge in a continuous space where there is no constraints, quite like the photo at the bottom. Well, we have tested this innovative idea on a few copper and gold deposits located in North America and California, and we succeeded to improve their best known profit, as you can see in the table. Interestingly, we have improved uh, the, obtained, uh, the obtained profit in one of the deposits in North, uh, North America by about $4 million. About the future research, I would say a new research area uh, arises here because we have converted the problem to an unconstrained function, and so different techniques can be developed to tackle this function. I hope this presentation has been clear enough to show the research gap in the mining industry and my contribution in my research. Thank you for having me.